What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to modify the curtain wall that we have created in this project for us to be able to place a curtain wall type of door. Okay, so we are going to place it in this, uh, in this area here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this curtain wall and then I'm going to select here selection box to create a 3D view of that. So this is what we are going to do. So we are going to place a curtain wall type door here. And then I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open again my uh, level one. And then I'm going to create an elevation here. Okay, you can you can do that in the 3D view. But there are also some instances where in for you to be able to have a good look on the on the model that you're working on so you need to create another view okay so aside from the 3d view so i'm going to create here an elevation view okay so to do that i'll go to the view tab and then after that i go to the elevation so let me select your elevation so click that and then we're going to place it here okay just click and just select modify Okay, so you will notice here on our project browser, so there is an additional elevation here that will going to be added, which is this one. So if you're going to hover your pointer to that arrow or to that point of our elevation, you just hover, do not click, just move your pointer over that one. So you can see that the name is elevation 1-1, which is this one. So you can rename, the, uh, rename that anytime. So you can right click. And then you can select your rename. So for example, uh, for curtain, curtain wall door. Okay. And then enter or whatever name that you want. And then after that, you just need to double click that to open. Either you double click this or you can double click from here, of course. Just double click and then it will now open the elevation. Just like that. So let's say, for example, I want to replace this uh, panel here with a door. Okay. So I'm going to select the uh, 3D view and then I'm going to select your tile views. Just click that. So this is now how it looks like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select this and then I select again the tile views. Click this and then click again the tile views. Oh. Okay, how about this one? Because I want to put the 3D here. There you go. All right. So here's my 3D, and then here's my floor plan, and then here's my elevation. Okay, so for us to be able to change this curtain wall panel with a door, so we need to load first a curtain wall type door. So we need that one. Okay, so to load it, you just need to go to the Insert tab, and then load family and then look for the family that you would like to load so let's say in our case this curtain wall double glass family so i'm going to select this and then i'm going to select your open okay so now that it's already loaded in the project so the next thing that we're going to do is um we are going to modify now our uh curtain wall okay you see this one here so i'm gonna hover my pointer and then i'm going to press tab once do not hold the tab just need to press it press once okay you hover your pointer there like that and then press tab tab again tab tab okay so you click Right, so for some reason I can't select the curtain wall. Okay, so let me just unlock all of this. Okay, so let me just hover again my pointer here and then press tab and then it's now highlighting the curtain wall grids. Okay, so I'm going to click that and then there is an icon here um, and a pin. So this one will prevent or allow change of element position. So what I want to do is I want to delete this. Okay, so I want to delete that. So for me to be able to delete that, I need to unpin it first. And then that's the time I can now modify it. So I'm going to hover my pointer and then tab, 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 
tab and then once that curtain wall grid highlights just click that and then you unpin it okay so unpin there you go and then after you unpin that so that's the time you can now modify it so you can select your add or remove segments so i'm going to select this icon here and i want to remove this one so click and then i also want to remove this one click and then after that select your modify so i can now oops sorry i can now select this and then oh sorry you need to unpin uh click and then unpin that so you can now um select that and then you can now select uh, delete it so delete click and then delete okay so i need to modify again the curtain wall grid so i select the curtain wall grid and pin that and then remove it so i click here there you go and then you click here as well there you go and then you select here modify all right so it's now clear so as you can see here in my 3d view it's now clear now the next thing that we're going to do we're going to replace this panel with a curtain wall type of door that we just loaded a while ago so to do that so i'm gonna use this select elements by face so make sure this is active okay because all you have to do is to hover your pointer to that face and then you just need to press your tab and it will now highlight that particular system panel okay so make sure this one is active you put your pointer to that uh, area and then press tab once and then it will highlight the curtain panel so once the curtain panel highlights just click it and then after that again just unpin that one so that you will be able to replace it so just unpin and then go to properties change the type and then look for the family that you just loaded a while ago which is this one so click and there you go so in 3d view i just click here in the 3d view so this is now how it looks like okay but of course i need to remove this one here this uh curtain wall mullion so i'm going to select this curtain wall mullion so i don't need that and then unpin it then delete again there you go and that is the same way that we're going to do with this one so we can also do this in the 3d view so aside from going to the elevation view let's do that in the 3d view so let's go to the 3d view so move your pointer press tab click once it highlights curtain panels click that and then you unpin it you click that icon and then change the type here from the properties so we are going to change that the curtain wall double glass and then click outside and then again click that mullion unpin and then delete that mullion there you go now what i want to do is i want to create or i want to copy this uh, curtain wall together with the doors here and i want to put it uh here this area here okay so i want this curtain wall to be replaced by this one the one with the curtain wall and then two curtain wall door so what i'm gonna do is let me just um maximize this view here so i'm going to select here tab views okay and then after that so i'm gonna click the curtain wall just like that you see curtain wall click the exterior curtain wall and then we are going to copy that copy and then i'm going to pick this ba base point here and then i'm going to pick somewhere here the distance is not uh, critical for this exercise later on we are going to move it okay so let me just put somewhere here there you go and then i will select here modify now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to delete this um, old curtain wall because i want this uh, curtain wall to be replaced by this one that we just copied so i'm going to select this curtain wall and then just delete there you go so it's now deleted and now we are going to align this curtain wall with these two doors here to this wall here so how to align 
So just go to the modify and then after that select the align tool and then after that uh, I'm going to use your wall center line for the preference and then I'm just going to pick somewhere here and then I'm going to pick this curtain wall that we just copied and there you go okay so maybe what I'm going to do how about here the center line and then the center line there you go okay together with the two doors that we have created so in 3d view this is how it looks like so let me just turn on my section box reveal hidden elements click the section box oops not the mask but the section box and hide element and then toggle it off there you go so let's click the section box and then let's adjust this so we can see that in the 3d view there you go all right so this is the two doors that we have added and then this is the copied one okay so basically that's how you uh, modify your curtain wall for you to be able to place your uh, curtain wall type of door okay so that's it so hopefully you learned something from this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions you can put it on the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can thank you for watching guys have a nice day